Hello, this is Malik Carlton Henry bringing you another Cure for Conflict. Today, we'll be talking about the recent neo-Nazi demonstration. On August 12th, a group of alt-right Nazi sympathizers protested at the University of Virginia. They were upset about the removal of the Robert E. Lee statue, a Confederate icon. Carrying tiki torches and yelling Nazi slogans such as blood and soil, the event was named the biggest white supremacist event in recent U.S. history. Jason Kessler, a member of an ultranationalist group, organized the protest. Obviously, these protests drew ire from the community. Things got violent, and eventually, people got hurt. This culminated in a Nazi sympathizer ramming a car into anti-white supremacists. The car ended up killing someone and injuring others. The culprit originally tried to leave the scene. Thankfully, the police found him and he was later arrested. Things may have died down in Charlottesville, but 35 people were injured in the rally. Both the left and right have condemned the white supremacists. Even Trump himself said that there's no place for this type of behavior in America. So how do y'all feel about what happened over the weekend? I don't think anyone's very fond of what happened over the weekend. Unless they were... Uh, unless they're Nazi sympathizers. Yeah, they and we do not time. condone Nazi Look. sympathizers. All right, so but, pretty much a lot of people, when I got on social media, a lot of people feel like it wasn't fair because, you know, when African-American, other cultures have rallies or protests or whatever, they always rush to arrest them. But as um, students of a universe, uh, universe, of a university, want to go and get tiki torches and go out there and protest and hit people with cars and beat some, because I've seen that somebody, um, a whole bunch of men beat a teenager with some poles and nobody got arrested. Nobody did anything. Everybody just let them. And I feel like it's not a racist, it's not a racism thing. Everybody's going to try to blame it on racism. I think it's just like one bad group that think they, they trying to be on top and versus another bad, another group that just tired of it. It's not nothing about color because um the guy that ran over the woman was white. So I feel like it's not about color. It's just pretty much about two different groups trying to stop the violence and continue the violence. And that's why I think that some people voted for Trump because they thought that he was going to be the man that would be like, all right, you can go ahead and do that. It's about the ideology more than anything. Can you elaborate, sir? It's basically just like what you said. It's not about race. Well, it is about racism a bit, but like. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's involved, but like one side has this view, one side has another view. Obviously, the views clash. People think that this one view is unacceptable. Like for me personally, it's the neo Nazi view, since we basically had a war saying they're not okay, mm -hmm. and now they're protesting like the removal of the Confederate statue or Confederate icon statue. It's just, I just feel like it's, it's unnecessary. Like all the violence, like you could, you could rally and have a protest and stand up for what you believe in, but you don't have to result to violence. Yeah. Like it became more of a riot than a protest. Yeah, like, okay, we understand you, you feel like you want to stand for something because something happened to y'all or whatever. It's okay, you go ahead, walk down the street, yell all you want, curse all you want, just don't touch nobody. Yeah. And I feel like I that's mean, for both sides. The thing is that their argument was still um, oppressive to more than one group of eth eth ethnicity, which is the, the other thing that's problematic is that there's, I don't know, do you guys feel like there's a double standard when you see like uh, uh, protests for other movements and you compare it to the one that just happened right now in Charlottesville? Yeah, it is because like when I, when I was, um, when I seen it on, on the internet, like people were comparing like when we, when we rally and then when they rally, no cops is following them, mm -hmm. nobody on SWAT suits carrying big mm -hmm. guns. Like it was cops there, but they had like little baby shields. Like, and so like, it's like, okay, most people feel like that's not fair. Oh, right. y'all gonna sit here and let them do what they wanna do because they're white. Yeah. And they standing up for something, something like we're standing up for. And then they're, you don't want us to get violent, but they could go get violent. So I think it is. I'm not sure. I don't. It's really like, it's just, everybody just needs to sit down and sing Kumbaya. <laughs> That's what I think, because. That's the cure for this conflict. 
sing Kuna Matata or something. Like, it's, it's, it's not that serious. We got other, we got other things to worry about. Like, we got kids out here getting kidnapped and people out here getting murdered. Like, it, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying don't stand up for what you believe in. Don't stand up, stand up for like. Choose your battles. Yeah, cer certain battles are not, you don't have to go to war for every battle. That's that's how I feel. I and is I don't know. I'm sorry. I just uh, I guess I guess it's more like a speculation than anything else. Not really like a statement. But um, as as terrible as all of this was, and the fact that it happened, like I think not that it that it should have happened, but now that it does happen, people can actually see what. Um, what this presidency was inspiring in the first place, or what what yeah. Trump was was talking about, like this is like a very realized um, hypothetical that just happened. I feel like, like and and uh, now people are like seeing it with their own eyes. I don't know if that's gonna help maybe change a few things. Like like um when when Trump first got elected, I wrote a status on Facebook and I was like, let's not look at it as being bad because Trump got elected. Let's just look at it like it's like. I'd look at everything like something happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. So he got he got picked to be the president for a reason. That's for us to all come together, forget all of this stuff. Cause it's it's everybody against what they believe in. Like so that's and that's what I feel. Like a lot of people voted for him because they thought that he was gonna stand up and do what they were afraid to say. Pretty much all he did was show everybody true colors. And now everybody just running around here acting crazy. Mm. And it's it's weird because it's happening, it don't really happen like in the city like New York and all that. It happens down south. Yeah. And and down south is like the Bible bell and everybody is um show um hospitality and all and you will be amazed that like your neighbor, your best friend for like twenty years was racist this whole time. Just because this man became president. And mm. he said what he wanted to say, and now you feel like, okay, we have somebody to, that's out here showing us that we could do whatever we want. Now let's take the mask off and show our true colors. And I think that's what's wrong with the world now. Everybody um, are, is afraid to speak up or be like who they are. If you showed us who you was in the beginning, we wouldn't be like shocked at and things be that's a way happening. And fix it or discuss it. Yeah, like uh, a lot of things don't. I just feel like I, I'm I don't like violence. I just feel like a lot of things don't have to deal with violence. Mm. But then some but then it's like people feel like um two two wrongs will make a right, but it don't. It just going to make a even bigger mess and we all going to be out here looking crazy cuz you want to be fighting and then cuz they want to be fighting now you want to fight now. We really about to purge. That's really about to happen. So I, mean, I don't know. It's just no, no, we just need to come together. We just need to stop all this foolishness. Because I feel like it's not a racist thing anymore. Mm. It's about a, it's a power thing. Like, it, that's what I feel like it is. Like, white and black, like, it, it's, it's no longer racist. Like, right. look, stop the violence, people. We need to come together, sing Akuna Matata, like Timon and Pumbaa said. And that is the cure for this conflict. We'll see you next time, ladies and gentlemen.